might seem like we don't always understand what it's like to be here. It's like you've got these special powers. It's like a different language to us. So I'm Lydia, I'm here from the fan carpet today. So first of all, just tell me a little bit about uh, the documentary that inspired the film and what was your inspiration behind creating all of it? So eight years ago, I made a, a documentary called Beautiful Young Minds, which um, followed a group of British teenagers on their journey towards the International Mathematical Olympiad, which is a, a competition I'm sure you're uh, familiar with. Um, but uh, they, they were a wonderful group of people, and the world that I encountered was, I thought, I thought very special, um, and one that would tr translate well into, into a feature film, and, and here we are eight years later. The creation of uh, Nathan. Just tell us a little bit about how you uh, went about that process. Well, both me and Morgan had uh, we worked quite closely when creating Nathan and his uh, his traits. And for me, a character so vastly different from myself, it was quite a challenge developing and uh, taking into account lots of different information which I'd got from both meeting Daniel, who was the the real person behind the inspiration for my character, as well as other teenagers on the autistic spectrum and learning about the difficulties they had growing up and finding out what, what went on inside their head. And uh, so for us, I really learned a lot and uh, it allowed me to, as I said, take all this information into Nathan. What would you say was your biggest challenge in creating a role? Biggest challenge in creating a role? He doesn't say much as a character. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's uh, challenging for an actor. Um, and, and what Asa does brilliantly um, is he's able to convey an enormous amount um, without saying a great deal. Um, and, and here is a character that, that could potentially be quite cold, um, but Asa brings a wonderful warmth to him. And uh, certainly as the film goes, um, uh, carries on, and particularly by the end, we're absolutely with him, caring about him, empathising with him. And that's what Asa brings to the character. And that's partly because um, he was able to speak to Daniel, who was the inspiration for, for Nathan, and, um, and get a sense of what was going on in his head. Uh, and, and actually, Daniel is really able to articulate the difficulties that he has, often difficulties with communication, ironically, that he is able to um, articulate very well. So um, Asa went into, the, into this with that knowledge that allowed him to convey um, what was going on in his head, but very subtly. Nathan's certainly on the spectrum. Traits of autism. That looks complicated. I might be able to help you. You're not clever enough. But there is no question that he's a unique young man. And uh, to both of you, do you each have a favourite scene? Uh, filming or watching? Either. I think, I mean, shooting in Taiwan was an amazing experience. I think pretty much every scene we shot there was, uh, was incredible because the backdrop and the background and everyone walking around and the lights and the markets and the noise is uh, just the entire atmosphere of pretty much everywhere that we shot at was breathtaking, really, and I think it really, really captured that in the film as well. It's very liberating to be able to shoot somewhere where you um, can, can shoot almost a, 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 like a documentary um, and just out on the streets and in the markets and in the parks um, with a very stripped-down crew and no extras, just natural surroundings. So, so that, was, that was a lot of fun, and just being in that environment was enjoyable, I think, for us as, as a team and as a crew. I think if there was a favourite scene although I have many um, that, I, that I really like. Um, I think there's a, there's a scene towards the end um, with Sally Hawkins and Asa uh, in, a, in a Chinese restaurant, um, which is particularly moving. Uh, and I think great performances from, from both actors. And Asa on that day, um, it's, a, it's, it's a big scene and there's a lot of pressure. And um, uh, we went straight for the close-up. Uh, because I felt that Asa could only do this once or twice. It's so demanding uh, of what was, being, what was being asked of him and to be able to show that degree of emotion. Um, so we went straight for the, for the close-up and I think it was first or second take um, that he absolutely delivered uh, an extraordinary performance and so I really, I really loved that scene. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finally, Nathan, your character, is a huge mathematics fan, so are either of you fans of mathematics as well? I'm all right in maths. 
Uh, I wouldn't say I was a big fan. Uh, I had a maths teacher uh, who uh, he sort of put me off it, I think. Uh, <laughs> but coming back to this, <laughs> Don't it, know it, it, re- it renewed me, uh, it renewed my, uh, well, at least my knowledge of it. Um, and it makes you appreciate, definitely appreciate how maths can be uh, beautiful and how people can really um, see more in, in mathematics than the rest of us. Yeah, it's a, I, I think the, the characters, again, that I met inhabited this world, which was almost... Um, uh, it almost felt that they were existing on a different plane to the rest of us. We were the, the sort of ordinary muggles, and, and they were the, the wizards who had these special powers. And, and when um, they're able to uh, translate some of, some of that um, specialness uh, to us, ordinary folk, it really is quite a, a wonderful and, and, and special world, and these are, these are great gifts that they have. And I think one of the challenges for us was how we represented that visually. And um, there are several things that we've done in the film which I hope bring that world to, to life. Um, because sometimes people can think of maths as quite hard work and um, hopefully the film isn't. So we'll see. Because I don't talk much, people think I don't have anything to say. And that's not true. I have lots of things to say. I'm just afraid to say them.